What an absolutely pathetic performance by the Washington Commanders. The Commanders fall to 2-0, and they just got obliterated by the Buffalo Bills. 37-3, going to break it down in today's video, talking about Sam Howell, Eric Bieniemy, and a bunch of other stuff. If you are new, please subscribe, help me out, and yeah, let's get to 12K. There was really nothing positive about this game. 37-3, to I guess they got three points at the end, so they didn't get shut out, but it doesn't really matter. It was at the end of the game. Use the comment section as a little bit of a therapy session. Let your thoughts out, and I will respond to some of the comments. So, man, I don't, there's, I don't even know where to start. Let's start off with Sam Howell, man. That was just, there's no other way to put it. Just an awful, awful, awful awful performance by him 19 of 29 170 yards and four interceptions and before the people start being like oh well he had no help on the offensive line that is true that is true the offensive line you know he got sacked nine times and some of those were on him a lot of those were on the offensive line but the interceptions if we go back and look at the interceptions the first one was just a bad throw man it was a bad throw and that wasn't really on the offensive line. He had the you know decision. To, he made the decision to do that. Second interception, right before half, he throws it late. He was getting pressured a little bit, but even getting pressure, that doesn't mean you have to make bad throws. That does not mean you have to make bad throws. He throws a terrible pass to Gibson, and Micah High picks it off. And the third interception in the red zone, it just he got pressured again, but it was not a good throw. And the fourth one, I I don't even know, man. That. He just threw it right to AJ Spinessa and Dotson was kind of open, but I thought he could have honestly gotten the first down on that. I was surprised he didn't run after like other times where he just like would run like through like eight guys and get hit. I was surprised there was just one guy there. He didn't try to make a move. And yeah, he was pressured. I think it was like at one point it was 80% of the play. So the offensive line was bad. I mean, Andrew Wiley, we really pay this man. We really pay this man, whatever, eight, nine million dollars a year. And we signed him on the first day of free agency thinking he would fix the O-line. And I'm not going to pin all this on Rivera because that is definitely Biennemi. Biennemi definitely wanted Andrew Wiley, and that's why they brought him in. But they spent like nine mil on him when they could have gotten like Isaac Siamalu from, I know I'm mispronouncing that, from the Eagles, who is a Pro Bowl guard for the same amount of money. Also, I don't like their decision to have Wiley out at right tackle. I think he's better at guard. It is what it is, but... Andrew Wiley was terrible. He allowed it, you know, at least a couple sacks. I didn't see the last possession on offense, so I, I don't know what completely happened there. But nine sacks is absolutely crazy. I think that's 19 sacks through three games. So Sam Howell has to get rid of it earlier. That's one. Two, the offensive line needs to step up and needs to play better. And three, Eric Bieniemy has to do a better job with his play calling. Another guy that I was not happy with today was Eric Bieniemy. Let, let's look at the running stats. Brian Robinson, 10 carries for 70 yards. Seven yards a carry. Brian Robinson was cooking today. He was really, really good early on, or early on in the game. The first possession where it was it was looking good. It was looking good. They had a couple of nice runs with Brian Robinson. They had a you know throw or two to you know Terry McLaurin. I think one to Curtis Samuel to Cole Turner. And then Sam Howell takes two sacks and throws in a bad interception. I don't know why we you know, got away from the run game, had five carries in the first half and five in the second half. The, even in the second half, the run game was working. I understand you're down by a lot, but you know they were down 16. Like They, should, they still could have ran the ball more. That was something that really disappointed me with Biennemi. The same exact thing happened in the, first, or in, in the Broncos game. The run game was working kind of in the first half. He, you know, there was barely any carries, and in the second half, he adjusts. You, the adjustment, like it's good to make adjustments, but it's usually if it's minor. You don't want to be making major adjustments each game because that means your game plan for the first half wasn't good. That's one thing I was not happy with the enemy. I did not hate the decision by Rivera to go for it on fourth down. I didn't really like the formation that they were in on third and goal with the run on, you know, for Brian Robinson. And yeah, I didn't really like that. You know, I liked the decision to run. I thought they should have ran, but the the run they chose, I didn't really like. And then the fourth, you know, down play, Robinson kind of messed up on the block, and then Sam Howell, you know, got pressured and didn't throw a you know good pass. But yeah, this was just a really, really bad game. Like whatever you thought worst case scenario was for Howell, I think this was probably worse than what you thought. I mean, 170 yards passing, four interceptions. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about Bienemy, like. 
I don't know, man. McLaurin, six for 41. He's averaging, like, he averaged 6.8 yards a catch. And I know, like, you know, the the offensive line's bad and Sam Howell doesn't have a lot of time to throw, but you got to throw a little bit, you know, deeper passes than, you know, 6.8 yards a catch. And also, try to get him schemed up. So, okay, if it is a three, four yard catch, McLaurin is, you know, getting those yards after catch. Because today, every catch, that he made basically it was either you know there's a few on the sideline and the other two were like in the middle of the field he got hit right away like i don't know i i don't like the way that the enemy is using mclaurin i like that he's trying to get him the ball but come on six catches for 41 yards and then Jahan dotson it's it's almost time to start having a conversation about him i mean through three games Jahan dotson doesn't even have 100 yards I don't know if that's on him, on Bienemy, or how. I mean, he only got targeted four times, and I mean, one of those was probably in the last possession. I thought he was going to be really good this year, and I'm not really going to put him or put this on him, like his lack of production yet. I want to watch the film a little bit, see what's happening, but I expected way more from Jahan Dotson through three games than 100 yards. I expected like 250 yards, and he's at like 80 yards. He's at 80 yards, so. I don't really know what to say there with Jahan Dotson. Sorry, that, you know, there's people watching the game, so if you heard some yelling there. But I don't know. I, I think Biennemi needs to get him a little bit more involved. I mean, one of the targets he got was the interception by um, Tredavious White. I thought Cole Turner had a solid day, four catch, 35 yards. And one of them, he'd kind of dropped a little bit, so it is what it is. Let's talk about Gibson, man. The fumble, just bad. Like, he had a nice reception. Uh, it was like a 10 yard reception, but then the next possession or two, just a terrible, terrible fumble. You cannot do that. You cannot do that at all. And yeah, just bad ball security. I really don't think Gibson needs to be playing anymore. I mean, if you want to use him as a receiver, fine, but that's how he should be used. Like in like right at the line of scrimmage is not where he should be at. Like if you want to use him, get him out in space. He's a bad kick returner. I mean, he's not a great kick returner as well. I would just like for him to uh, fair catch shows all the time because it just really isn't worth it. One of his returns was like a 17 yard return. Uh, Joey Sly made a kick at the end. I didn't even see that, but 51 yarders. So good for him there. And then Tressway was our best player. He was good. And then Brian Robinson was good. And then on defense, you know, they, we gave up 37 points, but seven of those were a pick six. There was so many turnovers. The defense wasn't great, but the, the defense was not terrible. They were not terrible at all. Uh, they could have been better for sure, but 16 points in the first half. And again, a lot of that was because of bad field position. And for the fourth quarter is when it really started to get bad. But at that point, they kind of gave up and the offense was just putting them in terrible, terrible uh, positions. Again, I'm not saying they played well by any means, but some guys that were okay. I thought Jamin Davis had a good game, made some nice tackles. And even when he did get, you know, allow a reception or two, he made a, you know, tackle right away. Kendall Fuller, I thought he was good. Had that interception, had some other good plays. Derek Forrest got cooked. Benjamin St. Juice was getting cooked all day, except for he had a nice pass breakup early on. Cam Curl missed a sack on the John, uh, Josh Allen touchdown. He also, yeah, I think an interception kind of went through his hands. It would have been a tough play. I thought Duran Payne was okay. The defensive line, I thought they could have played a little bit better, get some more pressure against this offensive line. Chase Young had some nice you know, pressures, but overall, I thought the you know, D-line was a little bit underwhelming i mean no sacks yeah you you got to do better than that four tackles for loss and you know one qb hit and that was montez sweat just just got to be better than that you have to be better than that. i thought emmanuel forge you know he got cooked early on by what's his name stefan diggs and they put him you know they didn't have him go on diggs anymore and then he missed a tackle made a nice tackle for loss so i don't know Besides that one digs play, it wasn't terrible by Ford, but real quick word from our sponsor. And a huge shout out to Mojo Fantasy for sponsoring this video. They recently came out with a cool new and innovating app that basically you're playing against other people, other NFC East fans, other NFL fans, instead of against the books, which not a lot of other places are offering that. And you know, there are thousands of NFL and MLB player props, you build a portfolio, and the better your portfolio performs, the more cash you win. And you can, you know, the props act like stocks. So you can buy and sell live all game long. So if your prop isn't working out and you want to, you know, pull out of that, you can and still make some money while doing that. So 
That's it. Make picks, make moves, and make money. Download now on the Apple Store and use my code Pedro, capital P, and then lowercase edro for a hundred percent deposit match up to a hundred dollars for your first time deposit. Link in the description for more. And if you do it, you can be entered in the giveaway for Jahan Dotson signed jersey and some tickets to a game as well. Just comment done, and I'll enter you. Thank you to Mojo. Okay, and we're back, and I took a little bit of a break because the end, you know, the one o'clock games were crazy. So I watched some of that. I mean, look at that. The Dolphins are just obliterating the Broncos, who we just barely beat. Let's talk about Sam Howell a little bit and if the commanders should bench him. I don't think they should bench him. I think they should keep, you know, playing him at least for the next couple weeks, see how he is. If it's really bad the next few weeks, okay, but still a young quarterback. This was what, his fourth start. So got to give him time. There's going to be ups and downs. This guy's basically a rookie. He was a fifth round pick. You know, he dropped for a reason. You know, I still think we got a good deal getting him in the fifth, but he dropped for a reason. So there's going to be highs like last week and lows like this week. This is the first good team we played. And this is not a, just a good team. This is a top, I would say, four team in the league. I would say, you know, the Chiefs, them, and maybe like the Eagles and the 49ers. Like that, those are the kind of the top teams. So this is a really tough game for the Commanders. And yeah, they, they lost it and they, they didn't even lose it. They got obliterated and the Eagles game is going to be tough. Only reason it could end up being a little bit, or I mean, I think it will be closer, but the only, you know, reason why I think it could be closer than people think it is a divisional game, but a, if we don't fix up whatever is happening with our offensive line and then Sam Howell taking too long, their D line is going to do what they did to Sam Howell. Or what they did to you know Carson Wentz last year to Sam Howell. I mean, nine sacks today. I mean, their D line's better than the Bills. I mean, they got Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Brandon Graham. They've got Fletcher uh, Cox. They got Josh Sweat. They got so many good guys. I mean, you know their D line's good, like right up there with ours. And it's just that our offensive line's bad. So if it, it could get ugly, guys. It could get really ugly. So Eric Miami is really going to have to switch things up this week. And honestly, just run the ball more. Like 10 carries for 70 yards. And also, you can give some of those targets from Gibson at this point to Brian Robinson. At least, I mean, Gibson's got to have gotten the message. But, like, you just can't fumble. This is second fumble. Both fumble. I mean, the first fumble was worse because it was a you know meaningful – or not a meaningful game, but the game was still going – like – it was a close game. This game wasn't close, but it's still in our own like 30 yard line. So it was really bad. And let's see other, you know, performers. Bates had a couple catches. Again, Dotson, two for 21. I thought Cole Turner was one of the bright spots on offense. And I thought, you know, offensive line obviously wasn't good, but the guy that stood out the most was Wiley. I think he gave up at least two, three sacks. And then Leno, I mean, again, I didn't, you know, hear his name too much. Hal had one good run for 18 yards, but still in that run, like, I think he's got to go down a little bit early. You don't want to get, you know, be taking that many hits. And yeah, defensively, Cook just, you know, absolutely Cook does. Josh Allen did as well, 15.3 yards a carry. And yeah, you know, Cam Curl missed him on that one touchdown. It was just all around, it was bad today. All around, all facets of the game. I mean, special teams, it wasn't a big deal. But uh, let's see, did they get any good returns? I mean, they got a couple nice returns, a 23-yard return. And, you know, our returns were not good. I mean, Crowder didn't get, you know, he didn't end up returning. So that was fine. But kick returns weren't great. And then punting was good. I mean, special teams wasn't terrible, but it still wasn't great. I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we just, I don't know. With a loss like this, you have to evaluate everything. <sighs> 37 to 3, man. I, re I said in the stream yesterday, all I wanted, like, obviously, I wanted to win. But I just was like, okay, whatever happens, I just don't want to come back and after the video or after the game, talk my video about, okay, there's a reason why the Bills are better than us. They're in a totally different class than us. I didn't want to have to put that tweet out or read that or talk about that in the, you know, my video, but it is what it is. I'm trying to see if any other things that I missed, I'm just pulling up on my Twitter, but yeah, give me your guys' thoughts in the comment section. At the end, I kind of want, I know the offensive line was bad and it's kind of like not a good idea at all, but I want to throw some deep balls, just see what's going on. Cause at that point, like the game was already over. Uh, some other notes, EB couldn't stick with the run. Andrew Wiley's trash, basically what I was saying. Diggs was just toying with St. Juice at, you know, at the end of the game there. It was bad, eight catches, 111 yards. Gabe Davis also had, he only had one catch, but it was a 35 yard 
uh, touchdown. And I talked about how you know they need to throw more than like four or five yard passes to Jahan and Terry. Or if you're going to do that, scheme it up so that they can get some yards after catch. And then you know talk about why there wasn't any QB spy earlier on the game because Allen was you know it was only three rushes, but he averaged 15 yards a rush, and all of them were for first downs. It was just you know something that you would hope you'd have an adjustment for. And then besides that, you know, Cody Barton had some bad plays. He had a couple good plays. I mean, he did have 13 tackles, but tackles don't really matter a ton because a lot of times it's because the guy you were covering got a reception or you just made an easy tackle in the run game. But yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to do studs and duds because there wasn't a lot of studs. There were a lot of duds, though, and maybe I'll talk about it in tomorrow's video. But yeah, not a good day for the Commanders. And yeah, man, I'm I'm not going to totally go crazy and say Sam Howell's you know, he was terrible today, but I'm not going to totally give up on Sam Howe and, you know, this offense and same thing with the defense, but it didn't, it definitely, the stock went down, stock went down for sure. And, you know, we'll have a couple more weeks. They got the Eagles, which, you know, it's going to be a very tough game. And then, yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. And then after that, you got the Bears. And if you lose those next two games, that's when you're like, okay, you got an extra 10 days until the next game. Maybe at that point you bench Hal, but at the, I don't know. At that point, I don't even see the point. Uh, but yeah, man, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.